Fill it back underneath the deck again. Uh, a little bit more light. And of course, the dogs are, you know, hanging around outside, They're generally ranching around and playing. Uh, I got some extensions, so we're gonna try and take this all the way to the end and see if we can get it properly cleared out. Piper, of course, has been swimming or wading in the water. Uh, I don't know where Isis is. She's up here somewhere, I think. She's usually pretty good about staying close, especially when she's not feeling good. Although now she's feeling better, so maybe she's going to start going off somewhere. That would not be good. Might have to uh, tie them up again. Well, she's down there, close to the river. She's sniffing stuff. Apparently, the cone kind of focuses in all the all the smells. Yeah, she's still wearing the cone because she still is. You know, her skin is itchy, and she wants to lick at it, and she'll lick at it until it gets ulcerated. So we don't want that. All right, you gonna come up and be with? Oh, yeah, okay. These are, came in two foot sections instead of the three foot. So I just made them into four foot sections. So I'll just add it on. And I think what I'll do is I'll just try and go all the way back and see if I can get it to the end. And then we'll pull it out and see what comes out. done a pretty decent job there. It was a good chunk to come out. Let's pass it in one more time. Get some of this out. So this is the uh, the end point, so to speak, of this. So what I really want to do is end up pulling this out and making sure that it's clear all the way through, but I don't know that I need to do that right now. I really don't like the way that this is uh, set up. Uh, and I need to put one more, one more vent line in for the laser so that we can vent the laser outside directly, uh, which is all sorts of interesting because it's got to go, it's got to splice in here somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where yet, but anyway, I uh, wanted to check and make sure that this was still clear. So now that's shut. Oops, oh, I forgot to shoot that one. Uh, yeah, so I ran it through one more time. It came out fairly clean. It got a little bit more, but not very much. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to call it and say that that's, that's clean enough because it's a pretty straight shot all the way through. Uh, what I may want to do is put a um, additional vent fan in to kind of assist, but that's a little more complicated than what I want to do right now because I'd have to sense when the dryers are on or when anything's on using that vent and then turn that vent fan on automatically. And that's just not something I'm prepared to do right now. So now what I'm doing is adding the, uh, the little external vent doohickey in and uh, it comes in a couple parts. So this metal piece is designed to be cut to whatever length you need. I'm not going to cut it right now because we're going to be coming back and redoing the, uh, redoing the deck at some point and I'll just end up doing it then because I need to 
we need to uh, properly fill in that space and and all but I'm gonna do this right now so one of the things that you want to do is the way that this works there's a metal piece that you fold into another one when you get it done you can crimp the ends uh, I'm not going to crimp that end because that'll you know will end up cutting it off at some point but let's go stick this in and this piece has uh, tabs on each side you can see there's one there and one on that side and those fit into these holes here might not need to trim that after all that's actually in a pretty decent position when I fill in that piece of wood so okay I guess that's gonna do it for now all right I'm running a downstairs dryer I'm not feeling any kind of leak down here let's go check out under the porch and yes indeed we have good flow and some uh, additional stuff that came loose <laughs> well I can pull that out clean it out that's pretty easy so yeah that's done uh, unhook the puppies Let loose the dogs of play. So we need to get the lawnmower running because the grass is starting to get long and some of the weeds are coming up. And there's, there's a few little trees that are starting to pop up too. I think we're going to take this to the transfer station today. Uh, Mike is in town getting some supplies. And I'm going to pop in here. Uh, Mike said he filled up the tire, so that's ready to go. Uh, and let's see, we'll go get the battery, battery thing hooked up. at 8.1 volts right now. Uh, right now it's on a 2 amp charge which is just fine. It's nice and gentle, not doing a whole lot. And then we'll let this charge up for a couple hours. Evidently a chipmunk has gone under my car and Piper is trying to Trying to get it out. I didn't see it go. It's actually a really, really nice day. Got a nice clear sky, very sunny. Temperature's uh, warm enough that I'm gonna lose this hoodie pretty soon. And, uh, <laughs> 
I'm gonna let them play for a while. Get some uh, get some energy out so that they will be a little less a uh, little less active later on. I'm also going to need to do some work on this. The uh, engine block where the starter mounts has got some uh, some issues where it's a stripped thread. So I'm going to need to find a way to fix that, which I think is either going to be some aluminum welding or some JB weld. I'm not sure which. Um, I haven't done the aluminum. Uh, well, it's not. It's aluma weld, so it's an aluminum alloy brazing. Uh, but I haven't ever done that, so I guess that's a thing that we can we can see about. But I'd like to get this running so that we can have it for the for the uh, the snow season. There's also supposed to be a piece underneath there. I need to make sure that that's still in there or get a replacement. Also had an important safety tip with these jacks. Make sure that you don't leave them down when you start moving forward. Uh, gonna have to replace that one. Yeah, more of this, this is the front porch and all this decking is gonna have to be replaced at some point. What I might do for now is go get a brush and uh, a grinder brush and brush this out, get rid of all the loose dirt and everything that's in there and material that's not very good and maybe get some uh, wood putty and fill this in for the meantime because we're not going to be able to afford uh, afford replacing any of this anytime soon but yeah I mean look at these boards they're I mean these have been chewed on by squirrels <laughs> so yeah that's lovely This wood is rotted pretty badly. Uh, as I'm hitting it with the air, I'm just lifting up more and more, and it's it's spongy. It might even it might make sense to hit this with a pressure washer and hit it pretty hard to lift some of that stuff out. But right now, what I want to do is get it get it to the point where it can dry out, and then I can hit it with the wood hardener and then some of the water putty. Yep. So I think that I will probably hit that with the um, pressure washer to try and get more of the rotten stuff out and then uh, see where it goes from there because that stuff is pretty bad. I mean, it's been dripping water off the roof for, you know, 30 some years. So it's, it's not in good shape. I'm just trying to get it so that it's workable until we get a chance to replace it because right now that's a little too expensive. <laughs> 